we saw that sincerity in its highest and most essential form is to be completely open to the highest values that we hold or the highest truth that we hold within and then not to contradict it in any of our expressions. Well, if this is the highest form of sincerity, how do we reach there? Let us see two practices that will help us to cultivate the sincerity. The first one is best illustrated through a story. And this practice is something that we can practice in order to add value to everything that we do. So the story goes like this. Once Prophet Muhammad wanted to start a new enterprise and he needed a lot of riches for that. So he told all his followers to give as much as they can. Some of the followers gave one third of their wealth. Some of them gave half of the wealth. And one disciple even gave all the wealth that he possessed. And as this was going on, one very poor lady came and then she offered her wealth, which was nothing but three dates and a small piece of wheat bread. Now looking at that, all the followers started laughing at her. Oh, what a small gift. No, it doesn't amount to much. And then suddenly Prophet Muhammad told the disciple that, hold on, the previous night he had a dream, he said. And what happened in the dream? He said, the angels came with a pair of scales and in one scale, they put all the riches offered by the disciples and on the next scale, the three dates and the small piece of wheat bread from this poor lady was kept. And then the angels saw that the scales were balancing equally. Even a small gift given with a sincere heart is as valuable as the most precious and most valuable gifts. This gives us a clue that whatever we do, if we put our heart completely, that itself will add a lot of value to every little act that we perform. Let's take a look at another practice. And this practice is called catching the pretender. Imagine a situation where a discussion is going on with a lot of friends and one friend expresses an idea and immediately everybody else agrees to that idea telling that oh it's a great and beautiful idea. It so happened that you had a slightly different idea but something in you blurts out that oh I also had the same idea and I was about to say the same thing and then everybody else appreciates you also and uh, this is a situation for practicing sincerity. What do we do? Well, if we want to be really sincere, the first step is to learn to step back within ourselves and observe what is going on there. And as we step back and observe, it is important that we should not start analyzing what we see. We try to see the thing as it is, and then we will observe within ourselves that, well, the mind had an idea, but the vital wanted the appreciation of all the friends, and therefore, it was hijacked by that desire, and then it blurted out, oh, I also had the same idea, and it misrepresented its own mind. What do we do? Once we discover this contradiction, we will have to learn to calm down the vital so that it doesn't act impulsively. And once it has calmed down, then we are left with our original idea. And this idea is what we will have to learn to express. But as we express it, one more quality is important because what we express may not be the best idea or a great idea. So we need to have humility when we express ourselves. So we just say that here is an idea which I have, may not be the best, may not be the greatest, but take it or leave it. And with that humility, it becomes easier for us 
to learn to express ourselves without any contradiction and with a great amount of transparency. But even this is not the final step. There is one more step left for us. Because this is not the best idea that we have, as a third step, we need to refine the idea and then take it deep within ourselves and present it to the highest part within ourselves and allow the idea to undergo a modification and a transformation so that the idea gets aligned with our own highest part and then we get ready to express an idea which is aligned with the highest truth of ourselves. And when we do that, well, that is an expression of absolute sincerity. So these two practices which if we can practice at every opportunity that we get, that itself is an excellent beginning. As we do this more and more often, we will find that even though we saw three steps are there in developing that sincerity, we'll find that the step one will merge with step two and the step two will merge with step three and we are able to be absolutely sincere more and more spontaneously.